Hello Internet, my name is Berlin Game PJ, and I'm going to try to give a quick overview on Reddit.com. Not professionally made or nothing like that, just like if I was going to show my friend what Reddit is. Uh, according to Wikipedia, what Reddit is a social news website where users of the site can submit links, and based upon the link, its popularity, it can get upvoted by the users or downvoted. You know, the most popular ones are going to show up in the top scoring tab of Reddit. Now there's also something known as Redikit. At the bottom of each page, when you first come to Reddit, I would highly recommend that you go and click on Redikit down here and read what it is. Basically it's saying be constructive, be positive, don't be a uh, negative person, you know, basically don't be a douche. And also when you come to Reddit, if you want to participate, you have to create an account. A lot of people will create different accounts. Uh, for different styles or, or comments, if you will, you know, like trolling or, or uh, you know, if they, if they want to say something that, you know, they wouldn't want uh, their friends to know about, you can create a throwaway account or something like that, you know. Now, also, when you come to Reddit, you'll notice that there's these tabs at the top, kind of very typical for most web pages these days. Um, when I first came to Reddit, I was always going to the top, tab, the top scoring, and then I have it sorted by today. So I'm looking at all the top scoring links in the past 24 hours. You can change this by hour, by week, uh, by month, year, and all time. If you're very new to Reddit, sort it by all time. Start at the top and go through the most interesting links of all time that got the highest upvotes by the Reddit community. Uh, controversial ones are kind of ones that have 50% uh, upvotes, 50% downvotes. New ones are new ones that are submitted right, right then and now. So if you want to, um, it's best to go to new and then <coughs> comment on there. Then you'll be able to um, get into the commenting of the, of the submitted links early in the game versus you can see this was submitted eight hours ago and it has over 1,600 comments. Hot ones are ones that are getting upvotes very fast. Um, <clears throat> moving on, there's also something known as subreddits. When you set up your account, the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your subreddits. And these at the top are the subreddits that I have subscribed to. Now you can edit those by clicking on this edit button up here. And you'll get a list of subreddits over here, or an entire list. And if you click on them, it's going to either remove it from your front page or add it to your front page. So if I want to keep beer on my front page, I'm going to click on it and it's going to look like that. If I want to remove it, I would click on that. So you can go through and you can actually search for subreddits or go through, get kind of a little bit of description of what the subreddit is. And if you like it, then you can click on it to add it to your front page so that the next time you log in, it's going to appear up here. You can also, if you don't have enough room on your screen, you can click this button over here, My Reddits, and then you can look at all the different ones that you have subscribed to. <clears throat> now, the next thing I want to show you is the actual URL of uh, reddit.com. So if you are looking to go to directly to a subreddit, it's always going to be www.reddit.com slash r and then another slash, and then it's going to be the name of the subreddit. So, for example, beer. If I type that in, press enter, then now I'm at the beer subreddit. And there's also, you know, there's a subreddit for pretty much any interest out there. So all you have to do to change between subreddits is just click it in, or, you know, you can navigate them on the ones that you're subscribed to at the top of the page. Um, moving on, <clears throat> there's something that I'd like to show you about submitting links and text. Now at the front screen you can see that there's a submit a link button or create your own community which is a subreddit. Now if you click on submit a link, you can uh, submit a link and then the URL and then which subreddit you want to put it in or you can do a text um, and then choose the title and then start typing in. You can type a novel in here and choose which subreddit you want uh, it to post to. Now that's going to show up whatever subreddit you posted it to. So that's basically how you submit a link. 
And then also commenting, if I go to hot, and I just see that this wizard is the second one on the list that I haven't upvoted yet. So if I look at the picture, and <laughs> I think it's funny, then I can comment on it. So if I click on the comments, wait for the site to load here, then I could type in a comment. And then you click on save, and that's how you would comment. Now, if you want to look at a user's uh, overview, see this top one here. This is the name of the user, and he submitted it to this subreddit. So these are all names of subreddits, and these are all names of users. So if I want to see a, a user, you can just simply directly click on his, his or her name, and it should bring up an overview of that user once the page loads here. And you can see what that user has submitted, and you can see what that user has commented on, and you can upvote or downvote for that user. Now, if you want to go, if you know the user's name, you can just go to www.reddit.com slash user slash username. And this is a buddy of mine. So then we... Uh, I can click on this one over this button over here to add him as a friend so that when I see him he's gonna have a little F by his name there's also a uh, little tags for M for the moderator like moderator of the subreddit or S for the submitter he was the submitter of the original link now reddit also has a search functionality if you want to search for something like uh, best free video converter but it's usually very um, IT tech savvy community. So these type of stuff, this type of questions is going to be around here. When you know, oh look, somebody did, hey, subreddit software, what's the best probably free video converter? And if you look at the comments, we'll let it load here. You'll get people that would that you know would suggest which is the best free video converter. You can pretty much find any subreddit and ask a question like uh, accounting. Um, I have a question about accounting and then maybe somebody will be able to answer that out there for you. You can see that these people are recommending some command line video converters, um, stuff like that. Now I want to show you uh, some quick things about uh, using Reddit. Um, when you get a comment reply or a link reply or post reply um, this little envelope here is going to be orange red now you can click on it and it's going to bring up your messages and as you can see you can look at all uh, messages and private messages from a user to a user count replies post replies once you've sent uh, you can compose a message here uh, lately, because of you know indexing and databases, you know, clicking on this is going to take like 30 seconds for it to load because um, your messages aren't cached. Also, um, when you're looking at links, you can see here that uh, some links have this little A plus by it. Now, if I click on it, it should expand what the user. It's a text link submission, so basically the user like I showed earlier, is going to be able to uh, uh, type in the text that they have about the, the link, the, the header. So if I click on the A, it's going to expand it so I can read it. Same goes for uh, videos. If there's a video link, you can see the play button, and if I click the plus by it, it'll bring up the video, and I can actually watch it here at Reddit without you know, navigating away from the web page. <clears throat> Also, one last thing I want to touch on on Reddit is the preferences. So if you go to preferences, um, I didn't really mess around with mine too much. I t unchecked show me links that I've recently viewed just because if I'm going to like uh, NSFW, which stands for not safe for work, I don't want those links to show up when I go back to the home page because what if somebody is in the room and they say, hey, what are you doing looking at that? Or you can create a whole different account for that type of surfing. Also, um, you can change the amount of links you want to display on your page. I just left mine defaulted at 25, 
And then also there's something uh, called RSS feeds tab I wanted to talk about real quick. If you want, you can take the, the links of these websites and um, and then you could import them into like a RSS reader, uh, Outlook, Thunderbird, uh, Google Reader, and they would be like your messages, your inbox, or your front page. But keep in mind that your password is encrypted in the link. So um, you know, like it says here, share your own risk. That's basically a quick overview on how I use Reddit. Um, if anybody has any suggestions, uh, feel free to comment. Uh, I'll be posting on YouTube and probably Reddit. So hope you enjoy and hope new users come to the community that are, you know, <clears throat> well versed, smart people, no immaturity. We got <clears throat> there's you know, there obviously is some younger immature people out there, but you know, has to deal with it. So yeah, that's about it, and I uh, hope you enjoy.